Aloha everybody, welcome back. Today I want to continue where we left off in the last video and that was working with our SVG logo in our WordPress website. I have a link right here below on the previous video if you don't already know how to get an SVG file into your WordPress website without a plugin, uh, you can check out that video. And for now, what I want to do is work on getting our SVG logo to scale, okay, and to change size as the viewport width changes, okay? So basically, as someone goes on a smaller screen, it's one size, and when someone goes on a large screen, it's another size, okay? Okay, so here we are at our website, and we have our SVG logo in here, along with our navigation links. And if we go and inspect this image right here, basically, you'll see it. Here it is. It's our SVG logo. And as of now, though, it doesn't scale. Okay, we could bring our width in and it just is staying at one size, okay, until, and that is basically 100%. It's just taking up the size that we gave it, all right? And if you come into here, into our HTML, you could see that we have a width and a height of 60. And let's say that we don't want it to stay at this height, okay? So we let's say we just want to delete this. We can delete it, press save, go back to our website and refresh it and it's gone, okay? That's because an SVG needs a, a size set. Now the size can either be set on the image itself or in the container. And that's what I wanna do right now. So basically if you'll see here, if we give it a width of, um, of 100%, You'll see what happens. We'll go and refresh it, and it's gone 100% of its container. Okay, and the container is this one. You'll see along with its padding and marg the margins that it would take up from here to here. Okay, and that's what this site branding class div is taking up. All right. So now our, our logo is going to 100%. And what we could do actually is go ahead and, and delete this guy, save, and come back here and refresh it, and you'll see it is gone, all right? But what we want to do now is change the size of this guy, site branding, okay? And so now we're gonna, what we want to do is give our site branding a class and a size, and that's what we could do right here. In our CSS, we could create a site branding And let's give this a width of, let's say, 30%. All right, save that, refresh our page, and there we go. Now that the container with our SVG has a size, it knows where to start, okay? It knows what to do. And you'll see that as the, as the, the container goes smaller, so does the logo, okay? So it's starting to scale, not exactly the way we want it to, all right? So, You'll see here, this looks nice, okay? When we go to inspect our element and let's say go down to an iPhone 6 and refresh, this is not where we want it to be, okay? We don't want it to be this 30%. Now, there's different ways to work with breakpoints and one way I like to work with breakpoints is within the inspect element and I like to work within my media queries within the template, okay? So I like to jump off of what the template's doing. So for instance, we could go into our header and the header is a good a good one because there's a lot of, there's the breakpoints in here to make your header uh, scale, okay? So right here we have a, a, a class of site header and we're gonna watch that as it has a media query. And what we could, you could do is start small and just expand it until you see a breakpoint. And our breakpoint will show up like this. A media query saying, when the min width is 44 M's or larger, change to this style, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna piggyback off of that. And what we could do is start small, okay? Let's start small like at a phone size around 380, 400, 600, something like that. And we could say, how big do we want this site header to be? Not the site header, the the um, site branding, okay, where we have our logo wrapped in. So we want our site branding. Let's try something like, um, what you could do is you could just click on the number here and press up and it changes, all right? And you could press shift to make it go up in multiples of 10. So let's try that a couple times at 60. And I like 60, okay? So we're gonna take 60 and we're gonna replace this at 60, 
okay let's clean this up save it come in here and refresh it and now our our site branding width is 60% and that looks nice okay and what we could do is just continue on into our breakpoint now and if we don't like it at this size then we can add another breakpoint as we go but for now I like it being it's okay I'm fine with it being that big on something like an iPad and that's exactly where our next breakpoint would be is something like right here at 44.37 okay you can see that right there boom and let's say right here we want our site branding to be just a little bit smaller let's say click on it shift down at 50 percent there's 40 hmm, 40 looks good 50 percent looks good might be a little bit big okay let's take it down to 40 percent all right and so this is the this is the media query right here that we want to um that we want to piggyback on okay and what we're going to do is we're going to make our media query right here. Add some room so that we could copy and paste this guy right in there. All right. I like to leave a space before and after my media query so I'm sure of where they're starting and then bump them in like that. Okay. So we liked 40% and that's what we we're going to do. We're going to copy, we're going to save that. And so now we're going to say when the screen min width is 44.375 M's, make the site branding 40 pixels. Come over here, we're going to refresh it. And you'll see now our site branding is 40 pixels. So we started here at 60 pixels. At our first media break, media query, we're going to have it go down to just a little bit. 40% all right and then when we want to go even higher to the next media query we're going to go back to our site header okay because site the class site header is the one that has the media queries attached to it okay and you can see there's another one here at 56 and you know what at 56 at this at this big I still think it's getting just a little bit too big all right so what we're going to do is we're going to find that media we're going to find that media query grab it Copy and paste this guy right in there. And you know, I like to play around in here to find out exactly where it is that I want um, my, what my changes, my size would be. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna take it down 10. And there we go, 30% looks good. If I go down 20, that's a little too small. Again, every site's gonna be different. Every brand's gonna be different. Let's do 25, I like 25. Now let's do 30. 30 isn't that bad either, okay? So when it gets to this min width of 56%, we're gonna bring it down to 30%. Okay, we're gonna come in here, save it and refresh it, and you can see that now it's at 30%, okay? And from there on up, I believe it should look fine at 30%, and you could keep stretching it out. You could close your screen and refresh your page to make sure it's gonna look the way you want it. And there we go, we're at 30%. Now, as a fallback, what we could do, now that we could come in here and we could clean these guys up, you could get rid of these spaces if you want. That helps you tidy things up a little bit. And so what we could do as well, I'll save this. We could come back in here and give it a fallback of 100%, okay? So that the way there is something to find in there. We'll press save, come in here, refresh it, and there we go we have got our logo now that is changing size according to the screens that we would like it to, okay? And of course you could go and create extra media query breaks as much as you want so that you could make sure it's keeping the scale that it's supposed to scale. So it's keeping the size that it's supposed to be at and that you like it. I uh, hope this helps you out. Hope this gets you started on using SVGs and your WordPress website. Don't be afraid of them. Um, play around with the media queries and make thing changes and padding and margin accordingly so that also your your logo doesn't get stuck or hidden or pushed up against an element and that's how we scale our SVGs in WordPress if this video was helpful 
please press like if you want to see more subscribe and i'll catch you next one aloha